Hi, this is Lisa Boldo. Today I want to speak to you and give you seven quick tips on reversing diabetes fast. Is that even possible? I guarantee you it is. If you will take these seven tips and just apply them for 30 days and then just go back to your doctor, get your blood checked again. Get your blood checked. I want to hear from you. If you really apply these seven principles that I'm going to give you today in the form of quick tips, however, you can do this. If you need more help, please visit me at www.lisabuldo.com. Get in touch with me and I'll help you further along. But here's your seven tips. Number one, drink more water. Don't let soda, definitely not soda, and even teas take the place of pure bottled water every day. Drinking purified bottled water is the it's the only true way to detoxify your body on a daily basis. And there's even other forms of good water out there today. We have a uh, reverse osmosis system in our home. So really, as long as you're drinking purified water, that's what you need to do. Give your system the best of the best so this way you can literally have the best day ever every day. Okay, so your body's going to function according to what you give it. Okay, second tip is obviously nutrition. We want to talk about nutrition. My rule of thumb is protein, good fat, and fiber at each meal. So when you think of protein, think of your meats, your beans, your fish, your eggs, but a little less meat, a little less chicken. Focus on more beans. Beans are a champion of protein. Greens, why greens? Because they give you oxygen and they give you energy. You can steam them lightly, but you want greens. The more greens, the more chlorophyll in your system. It's going to give you oxygen, it's going to give you energy. And with greens, clean and deodorize the body. So again, and I've said this before, but if you've ever run into someone that has body odor and they can't get rid of it no matter what they do, it's because they're not having enough greens in their nutrition. Make greens a staple for lunch and for supper. It's totally important. The other thing is good fats. So many people think that if they eat fat, they're going to get fat. Well, if it's the wrong kind of fat, the trans fat, cooking with vegetable oil turns to trans fat. You don't want to be using vegetable oil. I personally keep two kinds of oils in my house. That is extra virgin olive oil and extra virgin coconut oil, which is great for cooking and frying. Eggs, if you want to fry up some chicken, go for it, but use coconut oil. It won't turn to trans fat and clog your arteries and, and cause all kinds of problems. It's actually antimicrobial, antifungal, antibacterial. Coconut oil is very good for you. And then of course, extra virgin olive oil. It was used all throughout the Bible. We need to be using it today. That is good fat. Another form of good fat is avocados. If you love avocados, I find that people either love them or hate them, but if you love them, eat them. Eat an avocado a day. They're great for you and they lower cholesterol really quickly. And what about fruits? Sometimes people think that, well, if they have diabetes, they can't eat fruits. Yes, you can eat fruits, but the trick is to make sure that you're eating some type of good fat along with it. So say with the lunch meal, you have a nice salad, you've got olive oil in there, and maybe you want some blueberries in there or strawberries or on the side. It's okay as long as you, you've got that good fat. Good fat helps to slow the release of sugar into your body, so it gives it a balance. The next Next thing is stress. If you've got type 2 diabetes, a lot of times, believe it or not, it's brought on by stress as opposed to even the junk food. So we really want to keep stress at a minimum. How do you do that? There's a few different ways. Laugh often. Rent a funny movie. A good hearty belly laugh. What does the Bible say? It's good medicine for the bones. Okay, we, we really, a broken spirit dries the bones, but a, laughter is like medicine. It's healing. It's healing. When you laugh, every single cell of your body is engaged and it causes healing to come into your body. Okay, so you want to laugh often. If you say, but I don't have anything to laugh about, rent a funny movie. Um, Jesse Duplantis, he's one of my just favorite preachers, but he's got this Merry Heart series. Hilarious. I ordered the whole thing and I watched like three of them in one day. So I'm just saying there's a lot of good stuff out there. Also, reading at night before you go to bed. Make sure that you put your work away at least an hour or so before you're going to go to bed. Your mind needs time to relax and unwind. Let go of the stresses and of the worries of the day. Read a faith book. Read, oh, let me tell you, xpmedia.com has tons of resources. You can also get my book called It Can 
can be done. You can live in victory 24-7. It's a great resource to, to help you start changing the way you think and start changing the words that you speak. Okay, so there's a lot of great resources out there. De-stressing. Exercise is a great way to de-stress, but that is actually tip number four. You want to do some type of exercise every day. We were designed, we were created for movement. You know that saying, uh, use it or lose it? Well, I say move it to lose it. If you have some weight you want to get off, you want to bring the triglyceride levels down, you want to get your blood flowing the way it's supposed to, get in some form of exercise. If you've been sedentary for a while, walk. Walking. What did they do in biblical times? They didn't have cars. They walked everywhere. So get on your feet and start walking. Okay, this is good. Do what works for you. And I want to give you a tip too on exercise. First thing in the morning I find is really the best time of day because after your body's been in a fasting mode all night long from sleeping and then you get up and you start doing some type of exercising whether it's a little bit of aerobics, some walking, some jogging, whatever you will burn fat as opposed to eating and then working out and just burning sugar from the food you just ate so that's a real key and that will also help to um, release endorphins and, and boost your serotonin levels in your brain so you feel happy and it's just going to make you feel great just knowing that you did it. And if you do it first thing in the morning, it's done. You don't have to think about it anymore. I love it. I personally love the mini trampoline, by the way. I, that's just my favorite form of aerobic. You know, you may like to jog or dance or play basketball or whatever it is that you do. Just move. Just move that body. Okay. I just want to say this too, if you smoke, stop smoking, please. I'm not picking on you, I'm just saying. Smoking is so deadly because, first of all, what do you need to be healthy? You need oxygen. Your cells need oxygen to be healthy. What does smoking do? It totally depletes oxygen out of your cells. Really, really deadly, no good. You know, and not, not to mention all the other problems with the lungs and, you know, it's just, it's just depleting oxygen from you. You need oxygen to be healthy. So please, please, please stop smoking. Okay, number six, get good sleep. L let me just say this, sleep is so underestimated as to the value that it poses for good health. You need good sleep. The whole world seems to be on the computer, on Facebook, on social networking in the evenings. That's all good and fine, but limit it to maybe 30 minutes. Check your messages, send out some emails, say hello to your friends, do whatever you want to do, but get off. Give yourself maybe 9 o'clock to 9.30. Try to get in bed, though, by 10 o'clock, especially if there's a certain hour in the morning that you have to wake up. If you've got to wake up at 6 or 7 in the morning, you do not want to be up all night because I am telling you, you will wake up the next morning and you will be tired, you will be groggy, everyone will be on your last nerve. You just won't feel good and your brain just won't be able to think as sharply, as clearly. We want to feel good and in order to feel good, you've got to get good sleep. God gave us eyelids. Isn't that a beautiful thing? Why? So we could close our eyes and get good sleep. Praise God. Okay, tip number seven, stay away from artificial sweeteners. Oh my gosh, but if you have diabetes, what do you do? Okay, first of all, get the free report on my website, www.lisaboldo.com. I talk about this more in detail. But you don't want to be using artificial sweeteners. They're viewed, your body views them as a toxic foreign substance. No good. So what do you do? Well, first of all, the obvious, most people know that we, we really need to stay away from processed foods, the white flour foods, the, the grainy starches. Now, a lot of people don't know that, but I'm telling you right now, if you've got diabetes, get off grains. I know the food pyramid says grains, 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 but, grains, but I'm telling you, if you want to get rid of diabetes and get that pancreas function, functioning normally and properly again, minimize the grains or honestly avoid them altogether until you are where you need to be. And let me just say this too, because with those starches, when you cook them, even if they're whole grains, they're still going to convert to sugar. So that's a key, all right? So what do you need to be eating? Again, protein, good fat, fiber. Protein, your meats, your beans, your fish, your eggs. A little less meat, a little less chicken. More beans and eggs, eggs, if they're pastured eggs. And if you do eat chicken, which most Americans do, Make sure it does not have hormones, steroids, antibiotics. Make sure that if you're eating meat, 
It's grass-fed meat. Bison, buffalo, by U.S. standard regulations, they have to be grass-fed. So that's a grass-fed beef you don't have to worry about. It's a little more expensive, but it's so much better for you. Venison, if you like deer meat, some of you are going, ugh, deer meat. But it's actually really, really healthy for you. So those are your quick tips for today. Oh, and as far as the, the artificial sweeteners, sorry, I got off track a little. Stevia, it does have a little bit of an aftertaste. But honestly, if you're staying away from all the other junk and you don't eat sugar on a daily basis, try your teas without it. Put a little cinnamon in it. Put a little ginger in there. There's other spices that you can use. Goji berries. Oh my gosh, you could even take goji berries and put them right in your tea. What are goji berries? Look them up. Super, super, super food. Um, what else? You could take a little cacao powder, raw cacao powder. I use it in my smoothies. So anyway, these are your tips for today. And if you're not eating a lot of the other junk, you can actually take a little bit of raw cane sugar or raw terminado sugar and use that, just a little teaspoon. It's not gonna drive up your sugar levels like crazy if you avoid all the other junk and you're putting the good stuff in your body. Remember, balance is the key. God bless you. I trust this has helped you today. 30 days, do it. If you need more help, contact me. I'm here for you. God bless you.